Hey everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to show you what's in my pencil case. I already made a video about that last year but since I got a new pencil case I thought it would do an updated version of that and as always all the products that I'm going to be showing you guys today will be linked down below so in case you want to repurchase anything make sure to check out the description box and without further ado let's jump right into the video. So first of all, this is my pencil case. I got this one in a prop shop in Korea and the artist name is Barbie Made. I really like this pencil case because first, it just looks super cute and second, it is so soft, which means it can be perfectly used when you need to take a nap break during studying or you just got another mental breakdown and want to start crying and hide your face because finals are coming up and you wasted your whole semester watching TikToks or binge eating just because you were too scared to start studying so you kept on procrastinating. Same sis. Anyway, my takeaways are that I really like this pencil case and that I may or may not have shed some tears on it. Now let's move on to the keychains that I put on this pencil case. First of all, I have this bear charm, which is supposed to be used for your airport case, I believe, but I still put it on anyway. And it's really, really cute. And I bought this one from a Korean artist called Jin Illustration. And then I also have this heart shaped charm with Hoshi's name on it which I got from a fan slogan kit, I believe, and I also really like this charm. That's why I obviously put it on my pencil case. And lastly, I also have this 17 light stick keychain as well, and it even lights up like the real light stick, which is super cool, and it makes me really happy because you never know when you suddenly have the urge to watch a live performance, and for more live feeling, I can even pop out my light stick to feel like I'm there rooting for them as well. And since I'm not in the library, I can easily do that because no one's gonna judge me Except for that one grandma that is watching me from her window every time she takes a smoke. But apart from that, I do really enjoy my study breaks, as you can see. Okay, sorry for all the interference with my lame jokes. But now I'm seriously going to show you guys what's in my pencil case. Because that's why you obviously clicked on this video. So this is how it looks like when I open up my pencil case. Very full because I have a problem with pens. But anyway, the first thing are binder clips. And I used them to hold my book pages or just to clip my notes together. And the next thing are my outliners. I really do like all the colors, so I tend to switch to ones that I have in my pencil case up, depending on what notes I'm currently working on. And here are some swatches of my favorite colors. And then I also have this Wido, which one of my close friends got me. and. So far it lasted me a long time and I don't see myself finishing it anytime soon so thank you to my friend who gifted me this. And then occasionally I also keep some sticky notes in here because as you can see I really like to use them on my notes. I think it looks very pretty. And I also have this a peach ruler which I got from a stationery store in Korea and it is super cute and next up are some gel pens so i have this combined sarasa gel ink holder pen i don't know what to call it but basically it has four different kinds of ink in it and i saw this when i was in japan and i obviously couldn't resist on getting it even though i already have a lot of gel pens and i really do not need any more but nevertheless i also have some regular sarasa gel pens here i also switch up the colors depending on what notes i'm currently working on i also have page flags and i guess that is quite self-explanatory why i use these and then i also have some pilot juice gel pens and i put this panda charm on my red one but now it kind of looks a little creepy but i still like it also i have this mono eraser which i've been using for like three years now and there's still so much left of it and then I also have a pencil and this looks a little used but it is a one piece pencil and I put this cap on it so it wouldn't mess up the inside of my pencil case. And then the next pen is this Rirakuma pen and it has two sides, a thick side and a thin one. And the thin side is already dried up so I only use the thick side which is a felt tip. And as a study YouTuber, I obviously keep a brush pen in my pencil case as well and this one is the Tombow Fudenosuke in hard tip and then lastly I keep my black gel pen in here which I used to write all my notes with and yeah that is everything I keep in my pencil case. 
Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I very much appreciate it and I hope you liked it. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And if you want to see more videos of me, I would also appreciate every subscription, of course, if you want to. And if you want to see more videos about stationery, let me know in the comments down below so I know that I'm going to film more of those in the future. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a good nice day and stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!